was the experience throughout the whole trip? <clears throat> um, it was an amazing experience, actually, because um, it brought together so many people who were riding and doing it for a course, and obviously we did this for the Macmillan Cancer Support, and there was a lot of people who um, had very, very genuine and lovely reasons for actually doing the ride, and meeting everybody on the ride and hearing all the stories and all the experiences was quite touching. So that was one of the best parts for me. Um, for us, we did it as Fat But Fit. We started the group uh, about January or so, and we put it together because we wanted to do something. We wanted to use our skills, see if we could raise some money, do some good for charity. And we've all been touched by our families and everything with cancer. So it was something we thought we could do something and give something back. So we, uh, we put that together in January. We all trained very hard. And in uh, July, we did the Macmillan London to Paris. <laughs> I nearly had an accident twice just looking at it. <laughs> great friends um, to go along and actually just take part and for, some, for such a good course. I haven't done anything since uh, coming back from Paris due to my knees being knacked so hopefully it will will improve a little bit in time. The best I think um, I think what it was I think coming into Paris was probably the best the best bit everyone coming together all in the Millen kit um, all cycling together um, for me that that was a new experience at that point as well, um, cycling with people I knew. Um, <laughs> um, but I, th I think just, just coming in and, and feeling the completion of it all and actually just everybody there together for the same cause. Um, the, the, I think the people who were watching us coming into Paris as well, the other motorists, um, everyone clapping, everyone cheering. Um, some knowing what, what it was for, other people just clapping and cheering, but the, I think the relief of everyone turning up and getting there and seeing a lot of the people that had friends and family that actually made the trip out there as well uh, was quite a big, was quite a big emotional thing I think. I think a lot of it. Sorry guys. Oh, you <laughs> 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 
Yeah, brilliant. Well deserved. I didn't check DJ, it. DJ, man. I didn't check it. Oh, that's a Nengo Steakhouse song. <laughs> when I got the soul in the rain, you know. I, I, don't, I don't know this song. It's not a black people. What thing. you waiting for? What you waiting for? What you waiting for? It's a song we have in a restaurant every day. I hear this song in the restaurant. Thanks for Alexa's playlist. <laughs> well, the experience uh, it was fantastic to see all of those people cycling for a good cause. Um, I really enjoyed the free booze that the company paid. It's fantastic. And I, uh, no, really, it was good. I really enjoyed it. And uh, that was really nice to, you know, like to drive as I was the driver, I was not cycling, so it was nice to. To have a view of between France, where I'm from, and England, so it was a good experience for me as well. All good? All good. <laughs> you want one of my wheel? Do you, do you want one of my wheel if you want? <laughs> yeah. So we took a little break with them. I we missed the stop. I didn't even see. Ah, it. you missed the stop. I That's what, I know. Back back went off without me. Where is he there? Back now, he must be above. You, the only two, didn't sign. Me yeah. Yeah, he went straight on and I didn't know. Do you want a cereal bar or something? I need to, yeah, I've got to change my tyre. Are you feeling, Alexa? Tired? Great. Feel amazing. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. Need to rock. I don't want to stop too long. All right. I don't want to too long. Make sure you don't mind. I hope you have a week. Yeah. So yes, um, I'm Michael. Um, taking part in this uh, great event, going to Paris, London to Paris, um, for the cause of Macmillan for cancer cancer support. Um, it's always been one of my dreams as a young man from the age of seven to twelve to cycle from, to do the Tour de France, really. And given an opportunity to go with my work colleagues, my bosses and friends um, to do a ride from England, from London to Paris was just a dream come true, literally. Um, we, we formed a group and we were a team of four and we called ourselves Fat and Fit and uh, we trained for like six months. Um, to do the trade to, to do to get ourselves fit enough to do this um, journey. So for myself personally, it was um, it's it is hard to put into words how emotional I'm about this whole journey. On top of that, um, we did it for a great cause. People who need support from can cancer. Uh, my my late father-in-law passed away with cancer, and he was the guy and the person who I I put I thought about on my ride all the way through France. Um, and uh, he would have loved to see me doing this, you know, um, but this, this is the way life goes. Um, and my, he was always in my thought all the way through the ride. Well, um, that was uh, my, my motivation for doing um, this ride. Ha ha ha!
Oh, no! Hey, what about a teammate? Hey, Leave hey, out the hey. <laughs> <laughs> It was the best experience of my cycling life. Um, doing for a great cause, um, helping another people, um, be with my friends that we trained so much together, went through so much together. Um, know there's people in our families that have been affected by cancer and doing that was, was emotional and yet was one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. Um, we had so many moments and some of them were quite magical, you know, like riding from the Battle of the Sun. Um, it was quite touching um, and it was moments that was, it was all about the friendship and meeting the people that were there. Um, they went through so much stuff like we all did, um, but we're all doing for something that was amazing. But right there in the right moment, it's all about friendship helping each other, you would not stop yourself on, a, on the side of the road just to have a little breath of air and every single one that would pass by you would ask if you were okay. Um, so it was quite special to feel that people actually really care about each other and, and help each other, apart from Michael today in the tube. Other than that, it was, you know, it was a great time. Is um, We had so many funny moments. I even pushed Nicholas flew around the car park drunk with a cigarette and a glass of wine in a trolley. Um, yeah, apart from we sit in a reception and everyone, even the dogs were running away from us, they were smelling. Alex was keeping asking, too, is anything wrong with us? And everyone was just kept in away, but I think it's because we just rode 100 kilometers. But everything was very special. Every single day it was one better to the other. It was so special that we just remember us one whole thing. We can't really separate the days. So yeah, it was a um, trip of my life. Must say.